time for a video and I thought I would talk my way through this one. I don't normally talk, don't really care to talk. I like listening to a variety of music. But uh, I was thinking, honestly, I was thinking of an idea of making my next video. And the thought that came to my mind was if I could only have one soap and one aftershave out of all the ones that I've put to my face, which has been a lot of good ones, and not saying that this is above and beyond all that I've ever used, but if I could only have one that I know that I could count on and rely on that I really enjoy, it's an American-made product. Uh, well, the soaps are being made over in the Netherlands, but uh, fine accoutrement products have always been one of my favorites. And they came out in 2000... 13 is when he started, Todd, and about the same time that I really started getting into wet shaving, and like many of y'all, um, I was watching videos, and I was on Badger and Blade, and there was a lot of hype and talk about it, and uh, I ordered my first one, which was American Blend, which led me to uh, the original Italian Citrus, and I just absolutely fell in love with them. About that, shortly after that, I went on vacation over in Germany, and um I took my American Blend with me. Every time I wear American Blend, it reminds me of the time I was on vacation over in Germany. Uh, but he recently has come out with a new fragrance. And um, when I seen it, I'm like, man, I would really like to get it. The approaching warmer months are coming up. So that's the product I'm going to use today. Uh, and it says new. One, uh, it's fine aquamarine is the soap. The soap is a tallow-based, triple milled. It's easy, it's slick, and the lather is just last. I mean, if you got soaps and sometimes after that first pass it kind of start fizzling away, although you might not need as much lather because you don't have as much hair stubble, but you don't have that problem with fine. Uh, a lot of people will compare this as lathering similar to um, to Bach, and it really does. It really does. I do not believe there's also been talk that Tabak mills his soaps for him, formulates them, and then sends them for him to, uh, to sell. I don't think that's the case. Uh, Tabak is made in Germany uh, to where his are triple milled somewhere in the Netherlands. So... Uh, the notes, and you know, I, I like his little, of course, that's not going to last very long, but his little logo. I'm, I'm glad from when he initially started selling the soaps that they now come in a plastic container. They come in nice packaging, uh, the box you've seen in the picture. But um, I'm not worried about the box because boxes are already in the trash. But they're well packed and uh, well wrapped and everything when they're delivered. Uh, so his packaging and customer service is top notch. This one he paired up with uh, West Coast Shaving. You know, sometimes when you collaborate with another company, it does good things for both of them. Um, I honestly don't think Fine needed to do that because he's got a fine reputation, so to speak. His products are phenomenal. But anyways, uh, I'm going to use this soap. I'm going to pair it up and I'm going to put the final touches on the aftershave. Uh, the notes... Uh, for the aftershave, simple ingredients. Todd keeps it very simple. Really, three ingredients. He's got alcohol, water, and the fragrance. Uh, pretty simple. This is methylated. Uh, however, this is one of the lightest. I already splashed some on my face earlier as soon as I got it to see the scent and whatnot. Uh, but it's, it's a light methylated, unlike some of his other ones that I've got. I don't have all of them. Uh, I don't have the lavender. Um, I think it's about the only one I don't have. But anyways, this one really smells good. The notes in this is a light, fresh, aquatic, invigorating fragrance uh, with a touch of a sea salt. I smell a little sea salt in there. And I've got a lot of fragrances. I've gotten into the fragrance community for the last couple years. And I would say the closest thing that this comes to my mind, which I like, some people might not like it, the Creed's Arofa, uh, I think it smells very similar to that. Um, 
It's mixed with top notes of uh, citrus, uh, such as bergamot, lemon, and mandarin. Uh, the mid notes is a green note, like a fougere. And the base notes are amber and uh, possibly some sandalwood. My, my nose might be picking up on it. Um, and it's got that slight bit of sea salt. It kind of reminds me of when I went to Italy and I was... on the um, Italian Riviera going through the Chicken Terra and you can just smell that ocean breeze coming off and walking that trail with the, uh, the lemon and, and orange trees. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, it's going to be great for the, the warmer months. But again, it's one of those lighter fragrances, which is not a bad thing because you don't want to sometimes go somewhere and be overpowered with some overwhelming fragrance. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to use my Bartman, it's a little 5 eighths, but I tell you what, it's just freshly off a uh, Nakayama Sagi, um, and I'll get into that a little bit, probably as we get shaved. And the uh, brush I'm gonna be using is from Italy, uh, a Pantera. Uh, it's one of my favorite brushes. I think it's my first custom. It says, uh, not perfect, but forgiven. <laughs> First John one nine. Um, it's a twenty eight millimeter Manchuria Badger, so it's just right out of my mug, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna do a face lather. But there we go, the old logo starting to start coming off right now. But very very easy lather, but it's got that thick slickness that just automatically starts getting embedded into the brush. And I'm going to do a face lather. Uh, when you do a face lather, you can add a little bit of soap or you can add a little bit of water. But as you can see, it's lathering up really nice. The scent's coming off that puck. Smelling mighty good. Hope everybody's doing good. I can wet my face a little bit. I mean, that is about as easy of a lather as you're going to get. And it is a good lather. For us who use straight razors, this is the kind of lather you want. Man, it, it is going to be a really nice fragrance for these warmer months approaching. Today, Temperature out there is in the mid 60s. Warmed up, then it cooled back down. We're in that time of year here in eastern North Carolina. Hope everybody's been doing good. There you have it. Uh, nice lather. I really like Soligen Full Hollow Razors, and uh, you can't go wrong with a Bartman. I, I ran across this one brand spanking new, bought it, never been home, factory home. Um, it's probably a 70 to early 80s ra uh, razor, but uh, takes a great edge. And one thing, you know, razors, hollows, whether it's Sheffield or Soligen, uh, whether it's a big or small, 5 ace to 8 ace, 9 ace, you know, it's all preference. Uh, it's all about the edge of what's going to give you the shape. So let's see what this edge will do. Again, off of Nakayama Sagi. That slickness just never fails with that product, I'm telling you. This is one product that uh, will always be in my shape den. It's one product that I could count on if I had to get rid of all of them.
I don't know for, for you that use straight razors and hone your own razors. Again, this was off of Nakia Masagi. Um, are y'all like me? You can put in the comments below. When I started honing, you know, people used to get all caught up in um, the thickness of the slurry. You know, you need to water it out. And, and I've done that, and it... When you water it out, and you hone that final stretch, so to speak, um, underneath running water and it starts sticking, it's definitely a good edge. But it also kind of like leans a little bit toward a 15, 20K Sahara synthetic type of edge. And you lose, to me, I mean, it's a good edge, but I like honing a razor with a little thick slurry. And it... To me, the comfort, I just, I just like the way it feels. I mean, once you get past that first pass, feels great and you know there's just something about a natural stone like a Japanese stone it's a nice edge provides a clean close shave but you're just less prone to uh, nick yourself. <laughs> you know, watch me, I'll nick myself real fast. Hear that full hollow. Alright, so good job Todd on that soap and that soon to be the aftershave. I already put it on my face. I broke it out of the box. I've been waiting for it to arrive. Seems like my videos seem to be a little longer when I start running my mouth. So if it goes a little longer than normal, well, it's good talking to y'all for once. I don't make the videos at a rapid rate of fire. And several people say, I wish you'd make more videos. Where have you been? If you're interested in doing videos, be careful what you ask for, I'm telling you. I mean, you can only come up with so many ideas of what to shave, film. I'm not creative. For those of you who have watched me and subscribed to me for a while, thank you. And I hope you can see if anything's about me. Um, I don't promote certain products. I don't put people down. Da, da, da. I don't get caught in that, that 
drama. I'm just a average ordinary wet shaver who loves straight razors. Honing. A little bit of time all to myself that so many men have gotten away from. Here lately, I've been seeing that old question that keeps coming up, it'll come up and it'll continue to come up, but what provides the best shave? Double edge, single edge, straight razors. And I've used them all. And I did get hooked on single edge for a while. And I think for a lot of a lot of it, um, some people just don't like the maintenance of a straight razor. They don't have the patience to learn how to use them. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm going to do some touch ups. There will be a Carolina shave meet. September, I apologize, I don't have a date. Uh, you can go to Facebook. And um, Carolina Wet Shavers Facebook page. Join us, got all the information, and if you're from Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, or whatever, I don't think nobody's going to tell you you're not welcome if you do come. Smooth! I like going this way and that way because my beard grows that way. Todd at uh, Fine Accoutrements, pretty much all of his products or his fragrances are a flanker of something like um, Platinum is Creed of Venice. Who doesn't know about Creed of Venice? Wonderful fragrance. There's a lot better ones out there. Some people are so wrapped up in that fragrance. But... His fine vetiver is a um, Tom Ford's gray vetiver. Excellent fragrance. Man, now that's better than Creed. His green fougere is 
uh, green vetiver is Guerlain's or Guerlain's vetiver. I don't have a problem with his flankers, but this one is an original scent. So, mm. smooth. Hit my underneath my nose just a little bit. So, I highly recommend fine products. I think anyone that uses them, you can go around on YouTube and look at other people's videos. They'll all testify that Fine makes some awesome soaps and aftershaves. I think they make the best soaps and aftershaves of any accoutrement uh, in the United States. Always hit that lower lip. Can't stand feeling something. All right, give me a cold rinse. Part we all love, putting the old final touch in a real feel good part of it, the aftershave. It's got a built in restrictor, so that's also nice. Yeah, you can definitely get that mixed citrus top note. It's a light methyl. It's not like his other heavier ones. Very light. Aftershave. Oh, it feels good. Feel that green. Smell that green. Fougier. And I can smell that ocean salt breeze. Man, it's good stuff. Really good. So, Product you might want to consider getting um, any of the fine products. You cannot go wrong. It's been a while. Hope everybody enjoys uh, the spring that's approaching into the summer. Not certain when the next video will be, but thanks for tuning in. Can't go wrong. Thanks for watching, and as always, shave on.